In the event that you encounter a situation where you forget your iPhone passcode, it will result in you not being able to open your iPhone. Although setting up a passcode will make your iPhone secure, forgetting the passcode will also make things difficult for you. Today, this video will show you how to get into a locked iPhone without the password. Hey guys, welcome to the Tenorshare channel. In case you want to remove the passcode lock when your iPhone is locked, you need to factory reset your iPhone and erase all the contents to erase the passcode lock from your device. In this case, you will lose all your device data, but you can restore device data to your iPhone via iCloud backup. Also, Apple officially provides some methods to help you restore a locked iPhone. Next, I will demonstrate four ways to fix locked iPhone. First, let's try the first method. Erase locked iPhone with Apple ID. This method requires your iPhone to fulfill three requirements. The first is that the iPhone is updated to iOS 15.2 or later. The second is that the iPhone is connected to a Wi-Fi or cellular network. The third is that the iPhone has a signed-in Apple ID account. If these three requirements are met, you will need to enter the wrong passcode multiple times until your device shows iPhone unavailable. For iPhones running iOS 17 or later, the forgot passcode option will appear below. For iPhones running iOS 15 and 16, you'll need to enter the wrong passcode three more times. When the screen says, try again in one hour, the option to erase iPhone will appear below. You need to tap on it. Your device will then prompt you to reset your iPhone and erase all data. Then tap start, iPhone reset or erase iPhone. You will need to enter your Apple ID password and tap done to erase your iPhone. Your iPhone will turn off and the reset will begin. The process will take about 10 minutes. Wait for the device reset to complete and your iPhone will be as good as new. Then you need to set up your iPhone. You can perform iPhone data recovery on the transfer apps and data page. Choose iCloud Backup or Mac and PC for data restore. After finishing the iPhone setup, you can use it. If your iPhone can't fulfill the prerequisites of this method, then I will recommend you try the second method. Method 2 restore locked iPhone with 4UK. This method supports removing many forms of passcode issues from iPhone and iPad. It does not require device networking and supports multiple iOS versions. You can get it at the link in the video description. You need to connect your iPhone to your computer. Launch Tenorshare 4UK on your computer. You need to click Start and then follow the procedure shown by 4UK to put your iPhone into recovery mode. Different devices have different ways, and you need to choose the corresponding device. For iPhone 8 and newer devices, you need to quickly press the volume up and volume down buttons, then press and hold the side power button. It will take about 20 seconds, and your iPhone will turn off and then open the recovery mode. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, you need to press and hold the volume down and side power buttons at the same time until the iPhone turns off, and then open recovery mode for iPhone 6S and older devices, you need to press and hold the home and side power buttons at the same time wait until the iPhone turns off and then open the recovery mode. Once the iPhone enters recovery mode, 4UK will scan your device and provide the latest iOS firmware. Click on the download option and wait for the iOS firmware download to complete. Then you need to click starts to remove. Your device will begin to reset and the process will take about 10 minutes. Well. After the iPhone reboots, it means that it has been successfully factory reset. Now you need to follow the process, we'll set up your iPhone. When you encounter iPhone lock to owner, you need to enter your Apple ID and passcode to unlock it. Then just transfer your apps and data interface to perform iPhone data recovery. Okay, now your iPhone is ready to use normally. Method 3. Reset locked iPhone with Find My. If your iPhone was previously enabled for Find My iPhone, and you have access to your iCloud account, you can remotely wipe the device. You'll need to visit iCloud.com slash find and sign in with your Apple ID. Then select the device and choose the locked iPhone from the list of devices. Swipe to the bottom here to see wipe this device. This will delete all data from the iPhone, including the lock screen passcode. You will need to enter your Apple ID password for verification. Wait for the iPhone reset to complete, and then you can set it up. Then recover iPhone data in the transfer page. Method 4. Restore locked iPhone with Finder or iTunes. If you have previously synchronized your iPhone with iTunes or the Finder, you can restore the device. If your iPhone doesn't trust your computer, 
then you need to put the device into recovery mode, as in method 2. Then you need to connect your iPhone to the computer with which it is synchronized. Open iTunes for Windows users and Finder for Mac users. Then you need to select your device and click Restore iPhone. When you put your iPhone in recovery mode, an update and restore prompt will pop up after you open the software. Just follow the recovery process. This will adapt your iPhone to download the latest iOS firmware and then restore the iPhone and remove the passcode. Just set up your iPhone after it reboots. If you are unable to use any of the above methods, contacting Apple support is a good option. They may require proof of purchase or other verification to assist you in unlocking the device. Well, these are the four solutions to open a locked iPhone without a password. I hope the solutions in the video can help you solve the problem. Please don't forget to like me and subscribe to the channel. If you have any other questions about iPhone or iPad passwords, please write in the comments. We will actively help you to solve the problem. Thanks for watching and let's see you in the next video.